In one of my previous videos, I've shared with you how to use UI page view controller to create a tutorial for your mobile application. This tutorial will show up as soon as your mobile app starts and user will then be able to swipe through tutorial pages left and right, learn more about your mobile app, how to use it. And then when they're done, they can tap on a button uh, to hide tutorial pages and start using your mobile app. I have that project opened right now. So let me start start it and show you how it works. As soon as our mobile app starts, the first thing that we want user to see is tutorial pages. And I have first page of that tutorial show, showing up right now. So I can swipe through tutorial pages and learn about this uh, mobile app. And once I'm done, I can click on done button or we can call it skip button or we can call it do not show again button. So once I'm uh, once I click on it, tutorial page disappears and I can start using the mobile app. So the next logical step for this feature will be to make uh, this tutorial page not appear anymore if user chooses to skip tutorial pages or if user chooses not to show this um, tutorial pages again. So in this video, I'm going to share with you one possible way how to remember user choice and not display tutorial pages anymore. And if you do not have this tutorial feature implemented yet, then you can go to my Swift developer blog. And uh, if you look on the right side, it has a find videos a search um, text field. So you can look for UI page view controller, for example, and that will find you that blog post, which contains a video that will walk you through how to implement this tutorial pages. And it will also have a link uh, here to GitHub, which uh, to the project you can download and then copy and paste uh, code of that tutorial pages into your project. But in this video, I'll show you how to remember that user's choice and skip tutorial pages if user uh, has, um, if user chooses not uh, to see them again. Okay, so I have that uh, project open here. And the very first thing I want to do is uh, go to a view controller page that uh, has that skip button. If, you, if your design is a bit different, then just go to that uh, place where you have the skip button or do not show again button. And when user clicks on that button, what I do here is I instantiate the next view controller. I even called it that way, next view controller. I instantiate it using the storyboard and then I set a root view controller of my window to that next view. But before doing that, I want to remember user's choice and I want to store some value which will be used as a flag that I can use to make decision whether to show tutorial pages uh, again or not. So uh, let me define a new variable and I'll call it defaults. And that will be our user defaults uh, standard. And once I have it, I can uh, refer to it and then set value uh, of, let's say, true for a key that um, I will call, for example, skip tutorial pages like this. And then I will synchronize user defaults uh, to remember it. I will build it to make sure I didn't make typo. I did sync. So I'll build, build it again. Okay, build succeeded. We have uh, created user defaults and then we will store a value of true to for a new key skip tutorial pages. So now I will go to app delegate file. And in the app delegate file, I'm looking for the very first function, which is called application did finish launching with options. And here we are, we have a couple of lines of code, which customizes the appearance of our page controller. So right above here, 
I will need to reference to user defaults again and uh, so let me do that uh, I will call it defaults again equals user defaults standard okay once I have user defaults I can read that uh, value I've created and it was called skip tutorial pages equals defaults so I'll read it um, and that was a boolean value for key and I think it was called skip tutorial pages let's just copy it so that we don't make a typo for key skip tutorial pages and I'll replace the name of that variable as well so now if this boolean value is true I can skip tutorial pages otherwise if it's false I will um, let application continue its flow and the very first thing that user will see is tutorial pages so I'll say if skip tutorial pages is true now do something else I will let application run and work as it was before we started making this change okay and now I need to if I want to skip tutorial pages I want to go straight to the next view and I do already have this code I'll go back to view controller here and I'll copy this line of code which instantiates the next view controller from the storyboard so I'll go here and I'll paste it here okay but uh, app delegate, because we are an app delegate, there is a different way of accessing main storyboard. So I'll need to uh, first create main storyboard reference. Main storyboard equals, and that's going to be, I'm sorry, that's going to be UI um, storyboard. And again, UI storyboard. Uh, name main and that will be bundle nil okay so we now have the uh, main storyboard instantiated and we will uh, refer to it now to instantiate the view controller with identifier next view controller and once we have it we can then set the windows root view controller to that next view so i will reference the window object and then its root view controller root view controller and i will set it to next view and that should be it i can now build this project and then run and see if it works okay build is successful I will stop it now and finish mo uh, start mobile app and see how it works and I will also set breakpoints okay so our application is about to start and we see the splash screen and I will uh, let um, I will step through our breakpoints and tutorial pages is false we don't have that key created anymore this is why we go to um, other else statement and let our application work as it was before we started making this change and I can swipe through tutorial pages and once I'm done I will click on a skip button but before doing that I will go here and set a breakpoint inside of skip button top so I'll hit the skip button and we are here so this function is triggered that's it I will play it and we are seeing the next view so now let me uh, remove this breakpoint and stop application and start it again and see if our application works as designed for our did finish launching with option function so we are inside of did finish launching with options and now we should expect skip tutorial pages to be true 
it is true and it will go into uh, the if and then instantiate main storyboard instantiate the next view and we should see the next view this is it i will disable breakpoints and restart my application to see how it goes uh, to the next view right after the splash screen okay so and now let me uh, if i want to test how it works uh, if user starts it for the very first time i'll hit the home button and then i will delete this application and then start it again and i should see the tutorial pages again here we go and we see tutorial pages again and I can skip it. This is it. So it's working and I hope this video tutorial is helpful to you.